I also last weekend, my friend and I just had this hibachi grill and I decided to use some of my family recipes to make the dip and it's super easy so I'm thinking of sharing it with you and I'm gonna need 20 chili peppers right here and I'm using a lot of green ones because that's what I have in the freezer and it looks good in green anyway the first one I'm showing you two recipe so as you can see I'm, I have to take the top part out first because it's gonna be too tough and we are going to get this one done under one minute next you need two tablespoon of water actually I kind of bought the water already just want to make sure it's all clean and safe so yeah okay, so next a tablespoon of minced garlic or maybe two to three cloves I don't usually measure but just for a peace of mind for some of you who never had or never tried this recipe before so let's see yep so that was about three cloves of garlic still okay after that we are adding two tablespoons of lamb juice and so you saw two lambs on the plate earlier that's because i'm showing you how to make two different sauce for the babish um hibachi grill there you go so the green one that we're making the first one is especially good for the seafood so if you um, grill the salmon or shrimp i recommend that you make this dip already two tablespoons of lamb juice then two tablespoons of sugar next is two teaspoons of salt then lastly we are going to chop a tablespoon of cilantro in here already last ingredient is a, is a little bit of cilantro about a tablespoon to use the stem more so actually i'm going to use two tablespoons today or you can stick with one tablespoon but i'm not about to waste any of my food so i'm just adding a little bit more it won't hurt because back in thailand we would use the stronger part of the cilantro which is the root but the stem and the leaf itself, the taste is not as strong the smell is also not as strong so it is fine that we use 2 tablespoons too the first thing I can smell is actually the smell of the chili pepper and I'm gonna have to taste and see how it is spicy, lamy it's really spicy if you wanna use less chili pepper you're welcome to do that but this is the level we have at home maybe start out with 15 chili peppers but um, I have an American friend that had it and he was fine with it considering that he's never been to Thailand so and if you wanna add more lamb juice because you know like i said it's good for the seafood and what's good for the seafood is actually the acids so feel free to do that it's nice all right you are the next sauce for the hibachi grill is even easier you wouldn't believe it and again we still need some garlic and this one i'm not really measuring and i'm using about two to three cloves still so i would imagine that it would give me about a tablespoon of minced garlic just like that put in a bowl a small bowl okay 
Okay, I'm using the same amount of lime juice, which is about one lime or two tablespoon. Again, all of this thing that I'm showing you today, feel free to adjust the amount, especially with the first one. If you can't eat very spicy, you might want to start out with only um, 15 chili pepper because, you know, just like the name of it, it can be very spicy. Now here to the easy part. This is the sweet chili sauce and we use it for chicken a lot of times back home and the ratio is gonna be two parts of the sweet chili sauce and one part of the spicy sriracha sauce and so usually I do more but I'm just gonna use the tablespoon assuming that you know we not we have two dips and it will be enough for our dinner tonight and then just one sriracha sauce right here so you have these two sauces right in your fridge and you can create a third one using this recipe and i'm very proud of this recipe actually because my uncle was the one that um, mentioned that and he kind of said this is how you do it but never show us how to measure because back home we just don't measure anything <laughs> we just do it and this one um, I have people commented that it's so good with everything even scrambled eggs but it's especially good with the hibashi grill barbecue and suki so let's see And sure enough it is perfect and here you go these two sauces at a dip literally took you two, under one minute for each one so about two minutes all together especially this one so easy and so good This is so delicious, Maddie. Thank you so much. It's the best food I ever had.